kind of rushing right now because I overslept but I just wanted to show you that this eyeshadow primer is the bomb this is like the OG eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay it's the prime potion you cannot find this product in Malaysia anymore so I got Gina, my friend, to get it for me from Dubai nothing beats this I, I'm just so sad that I can't get it locally anymore this is the Shuimura heart formula <laughs> Um, this is a really old one but I usually bring it for travel because of its size Today my makeup is a bit more natural in the sense where I'm not wearing any foundation I only use Armani's Power Fabric Concealer um, Because for the past two days I've been wearing foundation and setting spray And I notice my skin cannot take more than two days of that combo It gets like a bit of red Ish. So I used some retinol last night to reset my skin a bit so um, this lighting is really bad but you can actually still see a bit of red dots. Almost done. I'm finishing off with this YSL highlighter. It's my favorite. I tend to like stick kind of highlighter because I just feel like it's the most natural looking. Gives you a really nice glow. I just remembered that I'm actually missing a button because the last time I wore it, I wanted to wash it, it came out. And I totally forgot to sew it back. I'm ready to head to the office and today I will be going to the office on foot instead of by car um, like I was doing the past two days. Although it's claimable but I think I just want to, you know, walk to the office and see what's around since it's only like an 8 minutes walk to the office. Hopefully it's not too hot. Singapore is actually really humid like more humid than KL so I might arrive in the office all sweaty I'm actually here on a business trip hence I'm going to the L'Oreal Singapore office I'm just gonna head to the office answer some work emails and of course give you an office tour if you haven't seen the Malaysian one you can click up here or in the description this is pretty much how I usually wear scenes L'Oreal doesn't really have like a formal dress code, you can just wear smart casual. Pretty much the Hall of Fame of all of the best-selling products of each brands, and these are all the brands that we carry. So the L'Oreal office in Singapore consists of four floors. So right now I'm just going downstairs to one level. This is the shared pantry, and this is the super famous view that everyone just loves. There's the Art Science Museum and Marina Bay Sands. So right now, I'm bringing you to the toilet. And in case you're wondering why am I bringing you to the toilet, it's for the bidet check. No bidet. But this is not specific to the L'Oreal office, it's just a Singapore thing. some beef dumplings is black color because they go by color
And I have dropped out from work. area because I'm gonna meet my friend. Oh, it's just there. just put on my Rouge d'Armani red lipstick number 400 because it's my favorite. I'm about to head to Rapu Henro Bar. I'm super excited for it because I really miss Kazunori in LA. And of course I had to respray my Jasmine Kusamono. Oh my gosh, I scratched it. <gasps> I am a little late but it's okay. It's just nearby like 8 minutes walk so we're all good. Social battery is like super low. So the reason why you didn't see my colleagues in my vlog is because today is Friday and they are all working from home. But I filmed a little bit yesterday because we had like a work drinking session thing at 5pm in the office. And I asked if they wanted to be in my vlog and they very sportingly said yes. So. <laughs> I'm so lazy to take a shower so I will just chill for a while and drink some water and then get ready for bed but for now I will just watch a bit of YouTube I am now watching Wong Fu's Spill the Boba Tea because it's like uh, an episode on the Blink Empire cast Kane and Kevin the drama drama people 